Hi. Do you know what are the benefits of U.S. citizenship? Once you officially receive your Certificate of Naturalization, you'll have access to a number of benefits that were previously unavailable to you as a green card holder. We will go over on a few of these right now. Voting Rights As a green card holder, you may have been able to vote in certain local municipalities. But, with a Certificate of Citizenship, you can make an impact on the national stage by casting your vote in federal elections. Eligibility to run for office To be eligible for candidacy in U.S. elections, you must be a citizen, which means, with a Certificate of Naturalization, you can run for office. Ability to sponsor relatives seeking immigration status. With a certificate of naturalization, you can sponsor any siblings, parents, or adult children who wish to apply for lawful permanent residence in the United States. Automatic citizenship for children. Once you're naturalized, your children will automatically obtain citizenship, even if they're born abroad. No more immigration forms. Moving forward, you won't need to go through the rigmarole of filing forms with the USCIS, which means no more filing fees, no more green card renewals or replacements, and no more having to check in with the US government whenever you decide you want to move. New employment opportunities. Under US law, only US citizens may be hired to work for the U.S. government. While income levels vary, federal employees are generally paid more and have greater benefits than private company. Greater access to government assistance programs. As a green card holder, you have limited access to federal programs like Social Security and Medicare. But with a certificate of naturalization, you'll no longer face these restrictions. You can even, in certain cases, apply for federal college assistance, which is reserved solely for U.S. citizens. No more deportations. Just as with any U.S. citizen, you cannot be forcefully removed from the United States. This is true even if you're convicted or arrested. A naturalized citizen can only be deported if they are first stripped of their citizenship, which is very rare. For this to occur, the initial application must have been fraudulent in some way. The Power of the U.S. Passport As a citizen of the United States, you're entitled to a U.S. passport, which comes with a number of benefits. For starters, you'll have visa-free access to over 180 countries and territories throughout the world. While abroad, you find yourself in an emergency you'll be able to contact the local U.S. consulate or embassy. You'll also have near-complete freedom to travel the globe, as the U.S. government places no restrictions on the duration or frequency of trips abroad. Along with the benefits, there are responsibilities of a U.S. citizen you should know. You may be required to renounce your citizenship in other countries, depending on your home country's rule for dual citizenship. You may need to give up your current citizenship upon becoming an American. The United States permits dual citizenship. Many countries, Australia, Canada, and the United Kingdom, for instance, also allow you to be a national of another country. India, Japan, and a number of others, however, require you to relinquish your citizenship in those countries once you become an American. You must file U.S. income tax returns for life, no matter where you live, as a U.S. citizen, even if you move abroad, you must still file U.S. income tax returns. You may be called upon to serve in the military. Mandatory military service enforced by a draft was officially discontinued in 1973. If reinstated, however, you could be drafted to serve. Any male who has lived in the United States or obtained their green card between the ages of 18 and 26 must register with Selective Service System. You may be called upon to serve on a jury. In the United States, jury duty in a legal proceeding is mandatory. If summoned, you must attend, 
but you may not necessarily be chosen to serve. Only those who are selected by the judge and attorneys after being summoned will actually serve on the jury.